What did you do today? Did you email a friend? Text message or phone a family member? Take a digital picture? Use a computer? Make microwave popcorn? Listen to a compact disc or MP3? Watch television? Or use anything requiring batteries or outlet electricity? If you have done any of these things, including watching this video, then you have electrical and computer engineers to thank for making these activities not only possible, but safe and reliable. Electrical and computer engineers are behind almost every modern necessity and convenience developed within the past 50 years. They're the ones responsible for figuring out how to communicate over vast distances, store and retrieve information, and non-invasively image the inside of the human body. They're concerned with making our lives better by designing and manufacturing technologies essential for communication, visualization, computation, and power distribution. They're at the very core of technology development in the modern age. Think of the, the internet, uh, cell phone and wireless technology, electric grids, CT, MRI, and medical imaging technology. Electrical and computer engineering is a fascinating field. Uh, it has had a tremendous impact on society. U.S. News & World Report ranks the University of Delaware among the top 50 engineering schools in the nation. We've been educating electrical engineers for more than 100 years. The variety and sheer number of technologies depending on electrical devices has exploded over the last half century, and there is a critical need to train technically sophisticated engineers in our society. Electrical and computer engineering is probably the most dynamic major because we never stay static. The field is always changing, you're always learning new things. I like to tell students that you're here to learn how to learn. Because of existing and newly discovered technologies, electrical engineers will have even greater power to design devices that will enable ever-increasing quality of life. I chose electrical and computer engineering basically because I knew that computers and the use of electricity and electronics were going to be the future of our society as far as technology and its development was concerned. So I wanted to be a change maker. In the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, yeah, our job is to help our students identify and understand opportunities for electrical and computer engineers and to help them master the tools of this crucial and dynamic profession. As you take different classes, we have a non number of uh, very nice laboratory facilities to use for that class. In class you would learn the basics, the theory behind the idea, and then in the lab you can go and apply everything that you learn. Our long-standing commitment to excellence in teaching recognizes the importance of active, hands-on involvement of students. A lot of the classes were more lab-based and, and more hands-on. That's what, one of the things I really liked. Um, Computer Engineering 222, it's called Microprocessor Design. We made it our own answering machine where we had to balance the clarity of the voice for the length of the recording. And there's lots of issues like that that um, I, I feel like you can't really get into unless you have a hands-on experience. In the Hardware Design Lab, in the Digital Signal Processing Lab, in the Computer Networking Lab, in the VLSI Design Lab, in the Digital Controls Lab, in the Semiconductor Device Fabrication Lab, in the Solar Energy Research Lab, students have a chance to experiment to test theories, and to collect and analyze data. In their senior year, okay. students take design courses that give them a chance to apply all that they've learned to a real-world engineering challenge. Many students take advantage of the Engineering Scholars Undergraduate Research Program to work on research projects with our faculty, gaining experience with the latest technology, and getting hands-on training in advanced instruments and high-tech equipment. The Department of Electrical Engineering is the largest research unit in the University of Delaware. That has allowed us to purchase the most advanced laboratory equipment uh, for the various fields. I'm looking at a way to make hydrogen using ultrasound waves. And that's, that's the research I'm doing this semester and I hope to carry that into graduate school. It's one of the unique things about the University of Delaware is that we strongly encourage uh, undergraduates to get involved. I've had even people from high school uh, work in my lab over the summers. And of course, being that they're early in their academic careers, they don't have quite the skills that a doctoral student will have, but what we do is we team them up with doctoral students and they work hand in hand with them. The summer after my freshman year, I was already working on DDR technology, which 
you know, at the time was, you know, state of the art. For my undergraduate research, I will be working directly under Professor for an entire summer doing music and electrical engineering combined. It's kind of an audio electrical engineering research. The integration of research and education, that's really the, the ticket to a, a well-rounded undergraduate experience. The department offers two undergraduate degree programs, the Bachelor of Electrical Engineering and the Bachelor of Computer Engineering. Because our student-faculty ratio is a low 9 to 1, our class sizes average 20 to 40 students. We're actually a fairly small department, and that means that the students get quite closely involved with the professors quite early on. We have uh, faculty who uh, do top-of-the-line research, uh, but at the same time they work with undergraduate students and they care about education. I chose Delaware because I knew that I'd be able to engage in undergraduate research. I would be able to meet with professors outside of class to ask the harder questions. And I knew that I'd get a lot more one-on-one -on -one attention that I wouldn't be able to get at a larger institution. Every student has their own um, advisor, which is usually a faculty in the department. So they, they guide you through all your classes from your beginning freshman year to our senior year. And they do a good job. Both electrical and computer engineering students are admitted directly into their chosen major as freshmen and begin taking engineering courses in their first year. This arrangement leaves ample time during their junior and senior years to explore the various specializations within the field. These include biomedical engineering, signals and communications, nanoelectronics, electromagnetics, photonics, and computer engineering. All of our research active faculty bring their experiences from the lab into the classroom and that makes it more dynamic than it would be otherwise. The bottom line in your college education is this. Does it adequately prepare you to pursue a career in your chosen profession? Adequate preparation involves more than just technical knowledge. It includes the ability to communicate your ideas effectively. It includes understanding how historical and contemporary ideas and culture affect your work. At Delaware, we'll provide you with the skills, the knowledge, and the background you'll need to succeed. Just ask our graduates. My name is Eric Helmelis. I am a graduate of the University of Delaware's Electrical and Computer Engineering program. I'm also the CEO of EM Photonics. One of the big strengths of the university program was the diversity of fields I was being exposed to. I felt very confident I knew what I wanted to do and I wanted to go be a computer engineer and go into computer engineering and, and, and work with various hardware and software platforms. I was not interested in, in other things I was being taught, such as electromagnetics and signal processing, I didn't have a, a broader appreciation for that. It wasn't until later, when those technologies popped back up in my career, did I really realize the value of what I had learned, and that I had the ability to transition to many fields and speak many languages because of that background I was provided, so I didn't have to start from square one in all these different areas. We invite you to visit the University of Delaware in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. It's the best way to see for yourself what the next four years can hold in store for you. What will you find here? A grand and tranquil campus. Enthusiastic students who are both committed to their studies and active outside the classroom. Faculty who know their stuff and care about students. Technology that truly serves student needs. An intellectual challenge. Friends, mentors, and colleagues. A university you can call home yourself.